hey, my name is Sri Wahini. I'm from Universitas Islam Riau with abstract ID AIC 2021 GDHEC 230. Well, I'm going to talk about my study entitled Undergraduate's Perception of the online learning process during the coronavirus disease 2019 outbreak in Pakambaru, Indonesia. As we know that the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 is a contagious and dangerous disease. It has ruined all sectors of human life, especially impacted seriously on education sector. In short, to prevent the transmission virus in particular, Kanbaru Indonesia changes the learning system from face-to-face -face become online learning. So therefore, a need access to investigate undergraduates' perception of the online learning process during the COVID-19 outbreak. Next, what we want to achieve what we want to achieve from this study, uh, the undergraduate's perception in regards to the benefits, the drawbacks, the acceptance of online learning, and the comparison between online learning and face-to-face -face learning in uh, Rio, Indonesia. Next. This study was based on a survey conducted in private universities in Rio, Indonesia. Undergraduates in the year of 2017 to 2019 were surveyed. Convenient sampling was used to gain the data. The sample consisted of 2021 students from Universitas Islam Rio and Universitas Lanjang Kuning. The students from all universities, universities learn synchronously and asynchronously with particular hardware and software during the COVID-19 outbreak. Next, to collect the data, uh, there are a few steps. The first is an adapted and modified questionnaire was employed to gain the data. And next, step number two, the questionnaire was sent as a link constructed by using Google Forms, free applications, and distributed through the WhatsApp group of each university and department's coordinator. In order to keep the respondents' anonymity the, and confidentiality, the email addresses were set but not collected. Next, the data analysis. Um, on the first step, uh, for the basic demographic of respondents, the benefits and the drawbacks of online learning and the acceptance of online learning were analyzed using descriptive statistics such as uh, frequency, percentage, and mean score. And next, on the step two, the non-parametric Wilcoxon sign rank test was employed to figure out the comparison of the responses on face-to-face -face classes and online learning. The statistical significance was P less than, less than uh, 0.05 point. Next, the result, the result of this uh, study, first benefits, the tendency of the accessibility of learning materials and learning from home were considered as the biggest benefits of online learning among, among students in this study. The most common benefits of online learning chosen by about half of students were accessibility to online materials. Uh, is 61.08% and the opportunity to stay at home is 47.5%. In terms of drawbacks of online learning, the majority of students choose uh, the technical problems mm, is about 67.87% reduced reduce interaction with the lecturer about 56.1% and lack of interactions with peers, 54.29%. Next, the comparison between face-to-face -face and online learning. 
uh, statistically, students perceived that they were more active during online learning classes uh, compared to the face-to-face -face classes. You can see the data. And next, the, the acceptance of online learning. A total of 14 students, which is 18.09, person students evaluated online learning as enjoyable of this there are 12 found it empathically pleasant which means 5.42 person and surprisingly 115 students is about 52.03 person it found it somewhat enjoyable while there are 39 students did not appreciate online learning. Of these, 15 students found it strongly unenjoyable. So here's the data. And next, on the conclusion, uh, the findings of this research reveal that online learning offered benefit during emergency distance learning there are the ease of learning content access and the safety due to learning from home. In line with the benefits, the drawbacks of online learning also appear during the process. The most problematic barriers commonly observed in the teaching and learning process were the technical issues and the inequity inadequate devices. Besides, the students felt secluded by reason, by reason of the lack of social activity, such as peer-to-peer -peer interaction and lecturers with students. But still, online learning compared with face-to-face -face learning was considered more effective during the time of the outbreak. On the other hand, most of students can have enjoyable moments when having online learning. So that's all my presentation about my study. Thank you very much.